Hey, happy Monday, YouTube. So, here we got the Submix Chainsaw, which we can see that in the frame, but it leaks oil like most of the, these Chinese saws do. They just do these Zanoa clones. Uh, put you guys right back there. Okay, so this is the one I put the big board kit on. Um, it works good. It's going to get poured. I'm not pouring now. I I'm still want to use this saw more, like, uh, get some more miles on her. Uh, maybe it's warmer here. But what I do want to do is a modification for convenience. Um, so, on the Proyama chainsaw, the Radley and the Forest King, aka the Beijing Manji, the tensioner adjustment is right here. This one, it is not there. Um, so it's on the front. Oh, oh, when I take this off, I'll show you. Uh, I don't mind them on the front actually, but the head on this one is particularly crappy. I just don't like it. It's a, they kind of made it a Phillips, but it's not really a Phillips, and a flat head doesn't work in there well. It's just awkward and kind of shitty all around. So, anyways, I'll show you that here in a second. Ah, uh, motherfucker. So, yeah, that's what you can see there. It doesn't look like it'd be bad, but it's actually, it's just not very positive. Um, set this aside on a rag so it doesn't leak over the floor. Okay. And why I did this video for a while, because I ordered this about a month ago. Uh, or two months ago, actually. It might be before Christmas, I don't know. have to check. But this is a side tensioner for a chainsaw like these. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to try to mod this to that. Uh, hopefully it works well. Because this part, I'll show a picture right up over here of the part from AliExpress. In the description, I'll have a link to it. I mean, this cost me, I think it was like $2.80 plus a dollar shipping. Like, stupid cheap. I should have ordered more. I actually thought I did order two at first, but I guess not. So I'm gonna bring you guys down closer just to, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I hate this new tripod. It kinda sucks ass. Uh, there we go. Uh, try to let you guys see what I'm doing, but I think this, this in theory should be a really simple modification. This one. So I got that Neo Tech NS uh, 872. That's actually not really a bad looking saw, really. Okay. Off. Clip off. And spend a day on threading this thing. one is out. Put that back, save this, because it's good to save crap like this, because could need it for something else. Often these pins you can retrofit to fit other saws. Quite often anyways. Should not say always. So now the new one that really should just be drop in, I think. That obviously is going to go in the hole. Get some crap in there. Get the crap out of there. Put this guy in the hole. <laughs> and then this guy just like so. Might have to give that a turn to get it to mesh. Get the gears to mesh. Go. It's all meshed. Now, where did that come from? It's not meshed the right way. Okay, I'm gonna do this different. That's gonna go on this side, like so, and then and down like that. Okay, so that should be all that's required there. Put the side plate back on. It's 
too bad. I was really hoping the other sub mix doesn't leak oil, bar oil that bad. I was hoping this one would be the same, but I guess not. I already unboxed that Neotech. Um, I unboxed the bar too. I don't know how good the bars are, but it actually looks kind of like a nice bar in the pictures anyways with the orange. That's gonna be all nice and smooth. That's bonded on something. Hmm. I'd have to investigate. I'll just find out the proper screwdriver. See if this is gonna work. Looks like it's working, just... Yeah, sorry about that, I ran out of memory on my phone apparently and stopped recording, but I just to make sure this, uh, thing's gonna tighten up properly. Just cut off more. There we go. That's the ticket. It's a little rough engagement, but hopefully it'll loosen up with some wear. Okay. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Probably get a YouTube flag for that comment. But anyways, yeah, so that. Uh, $3 part works just fine. Anyways, take it easy. Hope everyone's having an awesome Monday. I know I'm not because it's Monday and still got like way too much work left. But, anyways, take it easy.